Most of you, when you hear the words imagination technologies, will think, what the hell is that? Um, so we're here to tell you about imagination technologies today. We found them here at CES. And um, they're actually um, the market leading IP supplier uh, to some of the major semiconductor firms that we've got around, uh, around the valley and, and around the US in general. Well, I mean, if you're going to be mobile, then you have to have integration. You can't have a whole bunch of different chips in a device. It's power inefficient, it's bandwidth inefficient, um, it's cost inefficient. So what happens in the mobile space is ultimately everything goes onto a single chip, what we call an SOC. The system is one chip. There are some mild exceptions to that. You tend to find that if a device has Wi-Fi, that's still a separate component. But I tell you what, that's not going to persist. Wi-Fi will go on there as well. So you're going to have the CPU, you're going to have graphics, you're going to have video, you're going to have any audio components and DSP, you're going to have Wi-Fi, everything, a single device. And when you're putting those together, um, you're probably not going to design all those bits yourself. So what we are is an IP company. We design parts of those SOCs for big semiconductor companies. So you look here, you've got products from Motorola, you've got products from Nokia, you've got Samsung, you've got Apple. Um, in the smartphone and tablet market, if you're playing some kind of hot 3D accelerated game, you're using a cool 3D UI, chances are you're working with our technology. PowerVR is the graphics technology that we have right here, and that's capable of doing things from ultra-realistic graphics like the horse that you see here from Natural Motion right through to gaming like the uh, epic Unreal Engine stuff which we have down here. Why wouldn't Intel be able to develop its own graphics? It, well, it can develop its own graphics. Um, I mean, as an IP company, our biggest challenge actually is persuading our customers that they don't need to do this themselves. It's actually more cost efficient and in, ma in many ways um, less risky to go to an IP company and get them to do it. We deal with lots of different companies, most of them are competitors with each other. Some might be in different markets, but they're all similar kinds of company. And they come to us because ultimately we're taking the risk in this de developing this technology. We're one of several IP companies. If we go down the wrong road, they can switch to someone else ultimately. So they have all those options and also by and large, you know, they trust that we are going to come up with really good technologies. In the graphics space, for example, we do graphics in a way that nobody else does. We're a tile-based deferred renderer. doesn't matter what that means as such, except ultimately it lets you bring console-class graphics into a mobile phone. I think what you find in, in some areas of the market are companies who are coming from the high end. They're coming from a PC space or maybe a game console space and they're moving down into mobile. What we have are technologies which were devised for mobile first. So they are low power, they are very bandwidth efficient, they're very low silicon area and yes we scale up so now we're in tablets and we're in netbooks and we will ultimately move higher than that you know we do set top box we will do computing in the future um, but we're coming from a mobile space where everything is focused on squeezing down power squeezing efficiency out of the system whereas those guys they're coming from a PC space where it's about brute force where it's about technologies which were developed for environments in which there was abundant power and abundant silicon area so they find it harder to come down into the mobile space than we do